Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi, and for today, we'll be talking about Trowelon. All right. Um, somebody on our channel actually asked me to, you know, look a little bit into Trowelon um, to basically compare it to the use of um, paint. So it's Trowelon against paint. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. All my life I had to fight, I ain't taking no ill, I paid the price. Remember them days we had no life, now I'm up 2K, I ain't talking no spikes. Just drop me an M. Good morning, Mr. Manning, how are you? Good morning, and um, I'm fine, and I'm um, bit happy to be speaking with you. I, I, you are I, Andre, right? Yes, I am Andre Allen, and um, could you introduce yourself? So that I am, audience I am Claude Manning, I'm project manager for... Um, Products and industrial manager for Berger Paints, Jamaica Limited. Okay, okay, that's that's wonderful. And um, I want to say thank you for coming to speak with us because um, a lot of our followers are asking questions and they are finding it difficult to get information within the industry because there are not a lot of channels like this that actually speak about construction related topics. So I just want to say thank you first and foremost for being here with us, right? I would want to say to your listeners, though, that in terms of technical staff, mm -hmm. at Berger Paints has, I think, the best technical staff and the most experienced. We have persons who have been in the industry, like myself, for almost three and a half decades, to persons who have been, like our Mr. Sidney Jump, for over four decades. Oh, okay, okay. So we have a wide raid of, of, of expertise at their disposal oh so basically you advise customers once they come in to speak with you guys certainly even okay. they call they, they they and one of us is not available the information will be taking it will pass to us and we contact them okay and that's that's perfect because sometimes you know we need we need that little bit of help i um, in making decisions so without any further ado, I just have a few questions that I want Certainly. to ask. <laughs> um, as it relates to application, and this is why why uh, most what most of our customers or most of our followers would like to know. Um, as it relates to application, how do we? What is the proper way to really apply paint or throw it on? And which which of the two, which of the two is really best for our building? Should we really use Show <laughs> All right. Let me start with the how, because mm -hmm. there are um, nuances with the which. In the same way, you, you you have persons who will need a pickup, as opposed yeah. to those who will need a SUV, as yeah. opposed to those who will need a sports car. Yeah. It's all dependent to the you. But let's let, let's look at the how. Um, the, 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 there are three aspects, major aspects to application of any coating whether it's paint or toil on okay your surface preparation your application tools and condition yeah and the choice of coating okay and usually what we find that persons do them in the reverse order really they, they choose what they like first then they try to make it work on what they have. Oh, okay. That, that is not always the best way. So let's say, for example, um, you have a surface where, for reasons you cannot get it to an optimal condition in terms of level, maybe it's a low-cost job that you really want, to. maybe it's a situation where it's not possible to use scaffolding and all of that. So all of those you choose. Now, paint requires a very level and even surface. And by level, we mean that if you were to run a plumb line across the surface, uh -huh. the entire surface going across. Yeah. By even, we mean that even if the surface is level, there are no pits. It's like having a very level road, but there are a lot of potholes. <laughs> right? So... In those situations, you'll find that if you cannot get that kind of surface, uh -huh. so on 
may look better. Okay. Right? If you can get that type of surface where it's level and even, then it depends on, again, what you want. Are you someone who build to last? In other words, when you put it up, you really don't want to have to go back until your grandchildren are graduating from high school. Then oh, you go okay. full on because it has a longer wear life. It's virtually liquid concrete or uh, concrete with color. Oh, okay. okay. As opposed okay. to paint, would require, depending on the choice, like our weatherproof ultra and royal it goes up to seven years warranty. But okay. others may go like our 303 Everglow, give you four or five years. You get your magic for two or three years. Oh, okay. So, so, so basically, is, basically what you're saying is that the, the trail on really is a lifelong type. Is that is, yes. Right. Rather than the pain, which is more of a shorter term. Right. Because it also goes to the next thing. If you, if you want to be able to change with trends, color trends and all of that, uh -huh. trowel on is not as easy to modify once it's applied. Because like I said, it's concrete. Yeah. In, for example, your pattern. And I, I do, um, let me see if I can get my camera uh, to show you here. Oh, okay. So you have a coarse, a medium, and a fine. Yeah. Now, if you chose for one reason or to go with course and later you say, oh boy, it looks too rough. Yeah. To get that off, you have virtually re-render the surface Whoa. and then okay. reapply a, a, a lesser finish. So, so I, couldn't, I couldn't just, you know, use the fine over the course? That's what you're saying, right? Well, the thing is, how, how Troyland gets his pattern there are aggregates inside the the the, 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 the um the base yeah and as you move the trowel across the surface the trowel rolls these fine these aggregates and that's what create the patterns so oh, again okay. that's the analogy of a road yeah if you're driving on the road and there are a lot of potholes you're going to find that there are times when your wheels don't have any surface to sit on yeah <laughs> right so you, you suddenly find yourself falling so if you if your wheel if your depression is this big and your aggregate is this big, you're gonna fall a little pressure and stick. Yeah. So yeah. roll. So what you're gonna find that there are part times when you end up with a level rendered surface because your the aggregates cannot roll properly. Oh okay. So re, you won't really get the look that you want. Oh. You want to get that, and that's why we start talking about a level evil surface, give it the best pattern. Oh, okay. And secondly. If you want to change the color, again, uh -huh. the beauty of the trowel on is the pattern. So if you paint over it, eventually the, the patterns get filled out with paint. Yeah. Now, if you, if you look here, you'll see that we have here, up here in this top one, there are what they call standard colors. These yeah. are colors that are made with pigments that are very resistant to UV light. So they come out of active in those colors. Yeah. Then you have some designer colors. They tend to be lighter because they're made with synthetic pigments in some cases, which tend to not be as resistant to UV light. Oh, okay. So we would say to persons, if you have major jobs that are going to belong to, like you're building factory and plazas where you don't want to have to maintain it every um, two or three years. Two or three years. Go with the deeper colors. Oh, okay. But if you're a household and you're really, really probably after six or seven years, you want to change your mind and go with the lighter colors because they last longer. Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds and good. we also say for commercial projects, go with the coarser texture. Yeah. Because they hide imperfections better. Oh, okay. So usually those are, you want to build within budget, you want to cut your cost. So you don't render the surface as well you should. So the coarser yeah. pattern, the same, going back to the wheel and the pothole, the yeah. bigger the wheel, the less you feel the pothole. Yeah, yeah, that's what I tend to give you. On your house, no, you really don't want that good poor to fit in. You tend to go with medium on the outside, and if you put on the inside, like in your ceiling, you go yeah. with fat. Wow. That, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting because I, I, I just learned something new. <laughs> I just learned something new. But all right. So let me ask you. 
the price point between travel on and paid which one is higher because most of the time we tend to make decisions based on cost but as you say we, we kind of work backward <laughs> because <laughs> really and truly we should be looking at okay what is the desired outlook that we want and then we look at cost but we really look on cost first and then whatever fit inside that we say all right i eat that <laughs> all right cost comes in three levels uh -huh. there's cost to acquire uh -huh. cost to use and cost to own exactly and let me explain the cost to acquire all right. If you remember, let's look at printers, and that, that used to catch a, a lot of us when printers became popular. You yeah. buy the cheapest printer on the market, and you can't get the ink. But the ink cost to <laughs> each, each, each canister of ink cost you twice the cost of the printer. Yeah, that's true. And so, if you're running, um, where you every once in a while you print a homework, that may suit you. Yeah. But if you're running a busy, you're printing invoices every day. That can really drive you. Bank a short while. So here's know you go. A five gallon bucket of trowel on covers between 90 and about 120 square foot. Okay. Uh, the coarser one covers less, the finer one covers more. And again, the more even the surface, the wider you get in any grain. Okay. A gallon of paint is going to cover about between three, 350 square foot. Well, let me between 250 and 350 again, depending on the condition of the surface. Okay. The thing though is that when you're using paint, one, as I said, paint, you have the surface has to be far more level. Yeah. So you require greater degree of fine rendering on the surface where you can get away in some cases with trowel on. Okay. Also, for paint, you require a um, two coats of paint to get a proper coverage. Okay. Whereas in trowel on, once you put it on, that's it. Okay. okay. You don't necessarily have, have, have to paint over it if you get in the color you want. Yeah. The cost for application now um, is about the cost per square foot for trowel on is more. More than the paint. So the acquisition cost um, per gallon for trowel on is less than less, paint. Than, less than paint less than paint per gallon wow but because the coverage is also less less when you add the amount you need to cover a given surface so like a five gallon paint a, a trailer let's say an average 100 square foot uh -huh. a five gallon of paint is giving you about between 12 to 1800 square foot in one coat so between six to nine hundred square foot in two coats. So you can see it covers a whole lot more, even though it costs more um, to buy. But then again, you come with the application. Because I say you have to put on two coats and your painter normally charge you per square foot per coat. Yeah. So to cover the same area, he's going to charge you for two coats. Uh -huh. The other side to that, though, is that with a trowel on, because you use a trowel, that like you have to be very close to the surface. You require more scaffolding. Yeah. Okay. And more of an upfront than personal. Long handled, um, so for a two-story house, for example, if you get an 18-inch, an 18-foot roller handle and a very tall painter, you can actually stand on the ground and have a very short ladder and do the job. Exactly. Right, so that does mean. The thing is that, so that's it, the cost to own yeah, about um, the paint has the advantage there. Oh, okay. Sorry, the trowel on has the advantage, cost to own in terms of cost per gallon. Okay. But because you have require more, it kind of evens out. Yeah, yeah. The cost to apply, the trowel on costs a bit more per square foot. Uh -huh. but, uh, but again, because you're doing two coats of paint, by the finish, it about evens out. Oh, okay, okay. And also, you require more rollers and brushes. You have trowel on. You just, you just you, need one. Your, 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 your trowel is made of metal. It doesn't wear out. <laughs> right? That's no, true. That's true. Thing is the cost to own. Uh -huh. Because painting is going to require that you refresh the surface every three to seven years, depending on the, on the 
quality of the paint that you started with. Yeah. Throw it on, unless you're very, very fashion trendy. You're yeah. looking at maybe 10 to 15 years before you even need to freshen the color. Yeah. And, and and to add to that, you can actually wash the trowel on. You wash yeah, you can have to wash hand. and wash it off. Paint after a time, if you cannot carefully try to power wash it, the power wash it takes the paint off the wall. Exactly. Well, but that, that comes back to the surface preparation because a lot of builders now uh -huh. are using plaster. Mm -hmm. And just like paint, plaster comes in quality grades. Uh -huh. If you use a low cost plaster to cut your cost, it's going to start when you call it a fry. It starts to powder in a very short time. And then once it starts to powder, when it comes start coming off the wall, it's carrying everything on top of it, including the paint. Okay, okay. Which is true. And, Which is true. Well, what, what what we recommend to people is that they they utilize building washing, um, which is a soft wash type of um, situation where it's not it's not pressure washing. It's really a mixture of, of chemicals that light grade chemicals that actually remove the dirt from the, 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 from the building or from the, the, the trowel on itself. Um, well, I, so, go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Now I would say I would go one step further. We recommend, even though very few persons listen to us, uh -huh. that you wash the building before you start painting. And I uh, tell you what. <laughs> you're doing a scheme, you're doing 51 or 100 units. Uh -huh. And you start January 2020, COVID hits us, say, and you slow down, say, not going to finish until January 2021. Yeah. By which time, COVID has not stopped, has not quarantined the dust and dirt that's blowing about the make. <laughs> so by the time you're ready to paint, yes. the surface is laden with dust. So you're actually painting on top of dust exactly. rather than on top of concrete. But if you say to many person, wash the building for you, going to say, no, I don't have any time for that. Exactly. And doesn't that actually void the warranty? Because um, I actually came down to Berger to buy some paint. And they actually advised that, hey, you know, wash the building before you go ahead and paint the building. Well, what happens if you find your paint starts to peel off the surface? And uh -huh. your larger complaint, we are going to investigate. Uh -huh. And when you investigate and you start to peel, you look at what's at the back of the film. Yeah. Because sometimes they use, as I said, they use low grade plaster, which uh -huh. is powdering. You will see they use a low grade primer, uh -huh. which has which has failed. And you'll see they you'll see dust. You'll pull pull the film off, you see brown specks behind it which you know is dirt so you know they put the film on a dirty surface and that is what will will, will void your warranty oh okay another thing we will recommend a person if you do, if you can don't want to wash because especially that time when you have say let's say rainy season uh -huh. so you have intermittent rain so when they do get some sunlight they want to move as quickly as possible and if you're going to wet the building again um then you may have to you know, wait for it to dry out, which may. So we say the person, what he can do is use a concrete sealer. Because what this does, it penetrates even the plaster and holds it in a firm film. So you could okay. find that the, the concrete sealer actually helps to make your surface more stable. Oh, okay, okay. Man, that's a lot. That's a lot. I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> because. Well, most we'll be having some good. seminars later on this year as soon as all of these um, gathering uh, scenarios. And maybe we'll just ask you to arrange a, a, a Zoom seminar with all your contacts and we can yeah. come and speak on it because uh, 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 as everyone keeps talking about the new normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe the new normal will not be all of us gathering at the conference centre. Um, and, and, and having drinks and lunch together, but all of us gathering on, on Zoom or one of these platforms to speak. But we are, we are open to that, and you can call us anytime. Anyone who needs advice, we don't charge for it. In fact, one of the things we also do to contract, for contractors and builders, if you have a project and you want color ideas, send us a photograph of the unfinished building, um, unpainted, once it's finished and we're ready for painting. And we can actually put on put together color ideas 
-huh. and say, look at these color combinations, and you'll see it on your actual building. Nice, nice. So, so at the end of the day, you you have so much resources that is available at Merger that I mean, all you need to do is go down there and say, I'm here. I mean, when you're in, in social distance, you don't you don't need to come down here. Just call. <laughs> no, because I I actually when when I when I came down there, I actually got a rep, my personal rep that I normally, if I need something, I'll ask her and she will send me the necessary information before I come down there to buy. Because mm -hmm. um, we were repairing some trouble on, and I ha had actually gone to the site, taken some pictures. And then send it to her and she she um send it back to us right so that i can then make a decision from there right so at the end of the day there are a lot of resources that are available and it's a matter of us now bringing it to people because they don't know sometimes yes. and that's why that is why we created this channel so that we can get that information to people okay so, so I want to say thank you. I really, I really appreciate you taking the time out to, to come and speak with us. And if it is that any of our followers need paint or travel on, depending on which one they select now, <laughs> feel free to call Berger and just say Ajao we sent you and they will deal with you authority. Not, not a problem. You can <laughs> send them directly to me and I'll point them to their own personal rep also. All right. See? You heard it from him. You heard it from him. <laughs> All right? But you can't say the horse is more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to call you a horse. <laughs> well, which was up in the over and came on a spot. No, I'm not sure I want to be one either. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, thank you very much. And I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for having me, Andre. It was my pleasure. And I'll see you next time. All right? Okay. Okay.